Time for a look at our conditions here on the Central Coast. Let's check in with meteorologist Lisa Montgomery. And another beautiful sunny day for us across the Central Coast, even at the coast, the bay, the peninsula. Gorgeous sunshine with those temperatures nice and mild. Monterey, 71 degrees today. Salinas, we were in the uh, upper 70s. So all across the area, some very comfortable numbers, mainly 70s to low 80s after morning lows in the 50s. So we're going to be staying quiet. We're going to be staying pleasant even into our Sunday afternoon. The big story will be those temperatures will be on the rise as we head into Sunday afternoon. A lot of areas inland, you'll see more of the high 80s, possibly the low 90s in the far south. And we'll continue to see those breezy afternoons too, especially in the valleys and along the Big Sur coast. Future track, we are going to be falling back into the low to the mid 50s around the bay, mainly low 50s as we head inland. And we are looking at plenty of clear skies. It's going to be clear to partly cloudy overnight. We're going to see that again as we head into Sunday. Look at this already 9 a.m. We're looking at plenty of sunshine. So a good day to get out there, maybe head to the beach. We've got some comfortable numbers there as our temperatures do warm up tomorrow afternoon inland. So you can see mainly clear skies, mostly sunny conditions uh, for all day Sunday. Even for Monday, we'll see a few clouds try to spill in around the peninsula and east of the bay for later in the afternoon on Monday, Monday night. But uh, looking fabulous here with some very quiet weather. We're going to stay that way too, at least until midweek, where we will, will have a system move in, a trough and that's going to change things up for us just a bit. We still expect to stay dry. So here's what's happening. We had that system to the north of us that made its way into northern California, did produce some showers here north of San Francisco, and even a couple thunderstorms too, especially into Nevada. So this is going to continue to track away and back to the north, and that's going to allow high pressure to move in, and that's going to be building in here for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Peak heat day we think will be Tuesday, so that means we'll have those numbers back up into the triple digits in some of those inland areas for us. But then after that, by midweek, especially by Thursday, we will have another trough that's going to move in here and cool us down a bit, getting back into those lower numbers where it's a little more comfortable, a little more bearable. But all in all, we're looking dry so far, even as we head into Friday and Saturday. Uh, so it's going to be a nice week for us. Very pleasant with dry conditions, lots of sunshine and those temperatures feeling good. Here's a look at your forecast for overnight tonight. You can see we are falling back into the low 50s in some spots here and then warming up during the day tomorrow. Look at Boulder Creek. You'll be at 90 tomorrow. Didn't hit that today. Ben Lomond 87, the summit area 82. Santa Cruz 70s today. You'll be near 80 tomorrow if you don't hit 80 degrees. And then Capitola, we're looking at the high 70s. East of the Bay Salinas, you'll be in the upper 70s for your Sunday. 87 for Morgan Hill, 90 for Gilroy. Hollister 85 and we're looking at 75 for Watsonville so those numbers are warmer and even around the peninsula here we're still looking at mainly the upper 60s possibly the low 70s too for some of those areas like Monterey inland we'll see a nice warm up here especially in the south Bradley you're looking at 90 we didn't see that today Parkfield 87 high 80s for the San Antonio Valley also for the pinnacles we're looking at the mid to the upper 80s King City 81 everybody else in the high 70s Carmel Valley 70 78 degrees, Big Sur, 72. So just a beautiful day to be outside for your Sunday. We're staying dry all next week. We'll see more of that marine layer, especially as we head into Wednesday. And then those numbers come down gradually too. Peak heat day, possibly Monday into Tuesday, and then slowly getting back to normal with those lows at night, staying in the low to the mid 50s. Same inland, it's gonna be breezy, plenty of sunshine. Look at that, in the 90s for a lot of locations, possibly the triple digits in the deep south. And then we are looking at a cool down by Thursday.